All right, what's going on, guys? Sean Don coming back with another technical analysis. Here we have James Allen, freshman at Texas A&M, picked up the hammer just a few weeks ago. Uh, so we're gonna help him out a little bit. And if you out there watching this are interested in any sort of online coaching, go to my website gripandrip.co and check it out. It's uh, fall training starting up for a lot of NCAA kids, so now is kind of the time. I mean, now is always the time, but now is the time to sign up and uh, learn some technical things that you might need to work on. And then you have all fall, all winter to work on it. And then um, next spring, drop a fat PR. All right, so go sign up for some online coaching, gripandrip.co. All right, let's get into it, James. Let's take a look at the video. All right, so you sent me two. This one was a little bit less good. Than the other one, and I think that's probably why I want to analyze it for you, so I can kind of let you know um, what could be improved upon, and maybe why the other video was a little bit better. Um, yes, sir. I guess they're both kind of different in their own way. Where this one, I think, is a little bit more impatient towards the end of the throw, when the other one was a little bit more impatient early on in the throw. But either way, yes, we will. Sir. Talk about both, I guess, kind of in a way, and hopefully help you understand the throw a little bit better. Like I said. I hope you make some gains. Um, but yeah, so let's start breaking it down. So you start off square to the back of the ring. Um, preliminary swing, facing the right. Good. Um, number one, reach the hands out more. Okay. Hands out away from the body. Big orbit, big radius. Okay. Uh, as you can see, as I bring the ball forward towards you. Not a big deal right here, but just food for thought throughout the winds in general. You want to have the orbit be as big as possible without, you know, losing bodily stability um, and also the bigger the orb you have the perhaps easier it will be to find stability in the body because there'll be more tension in the system um, the ball comes forward like I said so there's just not a lot of tension right here but you know you're new to it you're just starting out um, number one don't open the shoulders up past zero I get your face in the back of the ring but you don't want to open up the shoulders past zero as you can see you're kind of facing maybe 30 degrees after zero here um, the first one, not a huge deal, but just kind of food for thought. Um, and then a big thing that I've been telling a lot of people lately is facing the right more in the winds specifically. As you can see, you're turning your shoulders back pretty good. You're reaching back and kind of connecting with the ball pretty early. But I want you to think about kind of keeping more of this, you know, upper body posture facing the right. Okay. And like, so as I said earlier, you want to reach the hands out away from the body more. As you can see, your right elbow is kind of close towards the body. And then it kind of comes out. You face zero again. Like I said, try to keep facing the right more. Okay. If you face the right more, you have more tension, more separation, the hips, shoulders, something to work with. Because um, you do kind of open up back to zero again. And you do turn back, but things will just be a little bit more efficient, um, a little bit more stable if you keep facing the right. But as you come through on entry, as you can see, Facing the right decently, hips kind of facing zero, not bad. Not a ton of tension in the system. Like I said, you're super new to it. So, you know, you could be deeper in the legs a little bit more, get a little bit more stretch across the uh, torso. Like I, said, uh, like I said before in other videos, do some play twists and stuff like that to be able to learn how that, you know, separation and tension is created and being able to withstand more and more of it um, gives you something to work with throughout the throw. Where if you don't have that tension, if you can't hold that tension, then you kind of, uh, you know, just hoping for the best instead of uh, having something to work with. So um, now, like I said, this throw is a little bit better earlier on where your other throw, you're going to see if you go watch it, your left side shifts back as the ball goes through zero. This one is still a little bit like that. Like I said, and you're doing three heels. And so starting off the heel is hard, keeping that left side stable. Uh, but like I said, if you have more energy off the right side in the lines, if you can reach out more to 270, um, that'll give you more tension, more stability. Uh, then you just have to be more patient with withstand that tension. Where, like I said, you can see you're shifting back and giving into it a little bit here. The other video was more dramatic, I think. Um, so this one was a little bit better, but as you can see, you're also just a little bit stiff in the legs, um, a little bit tall. You can see if you especially look at the left leg, your left leg's almost essentially straight, um, and then. Um, Kind of lifting the hands a little bit as the ball goes around the left, creating some orbit. Um, 
orbit creates itself. Gravity takes care of that. Okay, so uh, if you just try to cast the ball out, sling the ball through on entry, stabilize that left, and then you just let the ball go around the left, wide left, and stay in the system, turn with the ball, gravity will pull the ball down on the next catch, and orbit will start getting created so long as you're not lifting up and down or tightening up the arms or anything like that. Uh, you can see your lower body. Uh, you can see that left side turn a little bit ahead, the right side's a little bit behind it. Um, as you can see right here, left foot's pointed towards 180, right foot's kind of pointed, you know, back in the direction of 45 or 60 or so. Um, turn the whole body together with the ball. This will come with time. It took me about seven years to actually be able to do it well, and even now I'm still not perfect, but, um, just give it a shot. And like I said, it does look like you lift a little bit around the left. As you can see, the hands kind of come up and there's a little bit of tension in the arms. So try to relax and let the ball go long out left, not up around the left. Um, and then step towards the hammer as the ball goes to uh, 180. So you can think about stepping hip to high point. You can think about driving your knee forwards, just stepping forwards, drop this left knee forwards, whatever it is. You just need to get some direction forwards in the throw. Um, also, you can see your left shoulder is a little bit higher as you go to catch. Okay, your, sh your shoulders are level to the ground, but if you look at the angle of the hips right here, your uh, angle of your shoulders does not match the kind of angle of the hips. So that means the left side's probably going to feel a little bit of tension, and I think that's we're going to see that later in the, th later in the throw as you go um, kind of two into three. Um, but you catch pretty stable, flat-footed, totally fine, hips underneath you. For only learning how to throw a hammer a few weeks ago, it's pretty solid, to be fair. Um, pretty patient. Solid stability. A little bit of shifting back with that left side. Not terrible. But like I said uh, in the previous technical analysis video I did, if that left side shifts back in the entry, it's going to shift back a little bit kind of each and every turn unless you do something weird to really pull yourself out of the orbit and kind of correct things. But it's really hard to do that. Um, but yeah, same sort of thing. Left side shifts back a little bit. Right side a little heavy, not quite turning with the ball too well because the left side is kind of creating the tension. You can start to see that left shoulder pulling up more and lifting the hands up around the left a little bit more, like I said, long out left. And then same sort of thing as in the previous turn. You get a little bit more direction stepped forward towards the ball, especially try to be a little bit softer in this left knee. Uh, like I said, you can think about dropping it to 180. And then this is where you can sort of see the ball get a little bit up on you. But same sort of thing as in the previous turn. Left shoulder is a little bit higher plane of the shoulders is a little bit uh, tilted opposite of hips. Kind of want to keep it together. So left shoulder down a little bit. It'll give you more um, pressure with the right side, if that makes sense. And then you, this is where you can start to see a little bit of over rotation. So like I said, think about stepping towards the ball as your right foot comes down. Uh, you're kind of pre-turning that right foot a little bit. And that will kind of create some tension in the wrong places. Um, rather than kind of you want to stay a little bit more square with the ball or at least open with the foot you want this foot kind of pointing probably more toward 270 or kind of in the direction of the ball even um, but not a ton of tension here so you can start to see that left shoulder tighten up a little bit more and now you're going to see like your in terms of load in the body you're over that left side here with the torso or at least in between the feet but then as the ball goes left you're going to see this left side pull back more dramatically here. You're going to start to see that left side tighten up a little bit, coming across the body, bicep kind of coming across the chest rather than letting the ball get free around the left, which is a really hard thing to learn. Um, you, just, you can start to see you're trying to get the hips up into a little bit more, but it's kind of coming from the upper body rather than letting the ball go long around the left and working the hips up into it. You see that upper body pull back and then the hips work up into it a little bit more. And you can start to see you get a little lean here. That's actually a good thing. Um, and hanging on the ball a little bit. Now you start to see that plane of the shoulders match the plane of the hips, so that's good. Uh, but right side's just a little bit behind still. And then you kind of pull yourself out of the orbit. So as the ball reaches its high point, you can start to see you kind of start to gather a little bit and kind of tighten up the body. Um, don't complete you, you don't quite complete a full 360 degree turn. It's not necessarily going to be a full 360, but like instead of it being like, let's say maybe 330, uh, you're kind of cutting it off and maybe only doing 300 degrees of, of a turn with the ball where you start to cut it off and step a little bit early here and you can see your hips are kind of back away, not quite as underneath you as in the previous turns. 
Um, you land sort of flat-footed ball to foot in a way. Um, and then you're going to see this left side really start to tighten up right here. Coming across the body. Ball is very far back behind you. And you're going to see this left side pull back and shift back and lift up. And you're trying to get your hips up into it. So your body's trying to do the right thing. But you're just kind of cutting off the natural path of the hammer. And so this is kind of, like I said, not as patient as in the other video, at least in the finish. You can see you're really pulling back, straightening out, and kind of shoving the hammer out into the sector. So, uh, But overall, like I said, you, you're not too far off, especially if we're only learning a few weeks ago. So, yeah, hopefully this helps. Uh, as I said, facing the right a little bit more, setting up some tension, letting the ball sling, wide orbit out around the right, out in front of you, out around the left, stabilize that left side and entry, let the ball go turn the whole body with it and then once you have the system set just stay in it let the ball keep going let the ball keep building tension okay don't pull back don't tighten up don't uh use that left shoulder don't step too early all right just stay in the system and especially in the finish just patience the finish is not a different movement it's just uh, a release just let go that's all it is okay if you have that system set it should be fine so and you kind of got that based on the other video you sent so yeah, James, let me know if you have any questions. Happy to help. Hopefully, uh, you said you can go crush some PRs in a few weeks and, and make all your dreams come true. Okay, so, uh, yep. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you would like any online coaching of your own, reminder, gripandrip.co. All right. Until next time, John Don, signing off.